Hey guys, how you guys doing? It is Arne back with another video and today we're gonna take a look at the Maple Story Su a Lotus Remaster everybody. Yes, the boss has been remastered over here. This boss is insane my guy, alright? I'm talking about the mechanics wise, it's not longer RNG, okay? These are all predictable. They actually fix the rng of the bosses. And this is insane, okay? Number one. Number two, we're gonna take a look at 21st anniversary for Maple Story, all right? Uh, and also, there's a lot of quality of life changes over here, everybody. So, without further ado, let's get it on over here on the summary of what's going on in the director stream for April, everybody. The main content, Su. A Lotus Remaster and as well as the 21st anniversary update everybody. Alright, so Su has been remastered over here. Okay, so the director mentioned, right? Why they remaster Su? When it comes to bosses in Maple Story, it has to do with uh something that is the highest quality in game, and it has to be fun. And yeah, that's what the director meant, okay? So and they don't want to depend on just doing buying bursts and that's it, you know? So this boss itself is the very first boss that move away from the, the buying burst meta over here, okay? And uh, Su was the only boss, uh, was the boss that could not improve like Dunkel because Dunkel, remember, they removed the balls and everything because of the iron genus. But Su, if you remove the balls, it seems like uh, the debris, it seems like it's a very easy boss at all. So they have to completely remaster it. And Su Lotus was over here, wasn't the top priority for them to remaster this boss uh, because of the iron genus and everything. They adapt and learn from Carling. They learn to add new and end game content uh, is important too. But having a boss that many of the players can enjoy is also important. Because this boss over here is the most clear boss over here. So that's why they remastered this boss instead. That's what he mentioned. Okay. And um, there is an extreme sue over here everybody so how does the extreme sue fare in between and the other regular suits over here everybody so let's get it on with the game over here all right let me uh close down yet all right so this is the brand new suit and that is the extreme mode over here and extreme mode is actually between normal calling and also normal colors over here. This is the brand new extreme mode. Okay? Uh, extreme mode is pretty intense. <laughs> okay. And it drop a new dark boss hut over here, right? So now, 10 set of the dark boss set over here. The hut is a permanent hut. It's a level 200 permanent heart with all stats plus 25, HP, max HP plus 1,250, weapon attack, magic attack plus 15, and IED 30%. Nine slots can be potential and can be star force over there. It goes into the dark boss set over here, which is 10 set effect, which is added over there. 20 all stat, max HP 500, 20 weapon attack, magic attack, and 10% boss damage with the 10 set effect over here. The heart only drops from extreme mode. Okay? Now, with the extreme mode, that is a brand new mechanics for the extreme mode. You can only solo or duo extreme mode sewer lotus over here. You cannot go in with a party of three and above. No, you can either solo or duo. <laughs> That's why this is kind of insane. Alright, but someone already cleared it in the test server. I'm going to show the video in a bit. Alright, now. Uh, with this over here, they're going to have more stuff. Of course, your mechanical heart over here, right? It's still here and uh, your heart mode is still here, everybody. Yeah, still drops. The black heart still drops over here. And for normal, it still remains. All the rewards still remains over here, right? Normal and heart mode. Although it has been remastered, but everything is still 
Uh, the rewards are still the same. Only for the extreme mode, we have the new heart. Of course, we drop this two over here. And also a new android, everybody. Hell yeah. Very nice indeed. Now, let's take a look at it in the video over here. So, there are a lot of patterns. Right? This is actually phase two. I don't know why it's a book pixel later. <laughs> phase two. Okay. The director himself mentioned that instead of the boss doing damage on you, right? There are a lot of different uh, patterns in the boss. Basically, the map is doing damage to you. Okay, because uh, all the Black Heaven stuff, you can see that those uh, it looks like a Black Mage chain over there coming down, no lasers and all that, right? So they are all coming after you. The entire map is coming after you. Okay, because this uh, Su is connected to Black Heaven. So the entire Black Heaven map is coming after you. But don't worry, even if you see that all this debris and everything, a lot of things coming down, it's actually very predictable. It's because when I first play it, I first solo it, I don't know what was going on, but after I tried it a few times, they are all very predictable. They have indications over there, when is it gonna attack, like these lasers, it will actually stop, and when it's gonna attack, they have all the indications over there. You just need to be at the right position at the right time. Uh, easier than said than done, I know, right? <laughs> now. Uh, let's take a look at phase 3 over here. I want to I show you guys phase 3 uh, animation over here. Okay, so this is phase 2 and we're going to move on to phase 3. Okay, let me change the begin to phase 3. Ah. Damn. And you also mentioned a bit about a cutscene. When, when they say when uh, when there's a cutscene, the animation over there, the, cut, the boss itself opened his eyes, so now it's a little bit different. <laughs> now, this... It's phase 3 of the boss, right? It's insane when you can see there's a lot of shit going on there. There's a gauge over there, lasers, all this shit coming down, but they are all very predictable. As you can see this one, they, they have a few split seconds over here. They're all predictable, okay? Hence why he mentioned, now Kim Chang Sung himself mentioned that this is the first boss itself, right? That does not have RNG, it's all very predictable as long as you know how the mechanic works over here. Uh, of course, this is the first time playing it, hence why I do not know how the mechanic works. There's a lot of things going on, lasers, everything, full map, not really full map attack, it's just a, it's just two lines, like Kalos, you know, they, they incremented all the mechanics from all the bosses. This is, this is insane. And even this one, you see, this is, these are all predictable. You just need to be at the spot at a time. Just don't get hit. And this one is actually full, uh, uh, one hit KO, the lasers left and right. You can actually stand at the far left or the far right corner to actually avoid it. It's predictable, okay? Don't, don't be shocked by all this, it's predictable. I don't know how to think about it, but this is insane, man. Okay, now with all this boss over here, this is the boss clear map over here. Um, let me show you guys. This is the boss clear map, this is how it clears over here. I'm doing practice mode over here. Now, um, the soul, and this is how the soul looks like. This is basically the hard mode or the normal mode one, the soul. This is actually the extreme mode soul. The extreme mode soul looks like this, right? The attack over here. See the, the difference over there. And this is how the extreme mode soul over here is. Insane. Insane over here. Now, uh, I can show you guys a little bit about, actually Neo over here show, right? The normal mode or hard mode. Yeah, this is the regular one not the augmented one all right this is a regular one it's actually pretty good though <laughs> it's actually pretty damn good and uh, i'm gonna skip through it and so show you guys that uh, this is the the augmented one for the normal and hard mode okay so as you can see if someone's over here it pushes the mobs kind of prefer the <laughs> the normal one over there right not the augmented this is the augmented one over here so this is how it looks like yeah 1,800% damage over there. The regular one, if I'm not mistaken, was 1,605%. So yeah, that's basically it for uh, this one over here, as you can see. Now, with this, there is a special event that is be running over here for the new remastered boss. <laughs> okay? They are going to give out. If you clear it every week during the event period, everyone is going to get this. As long as you clear on the boss, right? Either in the solo or duo over there or normal or a uh, hard mode if i'm not mistaken let me double check 
There we go. Regardless of any difficulty. Yeah, see, regardless of any difficulty, as long as you clear it every week, they will give you all these rewards over here. The, the emoticons over here, the chat and name label over here, the damage skin over here. Confirm. These are the general mission. You will confirm get it. Now, here comes the special one. The special mission one and special mission two. Special mission one over here. 100 players that cleared extreme mode solo, all right, extreme mode solo will be able to get this effect over here, all right, and as well as the uh, metal over there, okay, and you get 1 million maple points over there. It's insane. I can show you guys in the game of uh, how does the uh, metal actually looks like over there. Uh, okay, there we go. This is how it looks like, and this is the metal. All stat plus 15, uh, magic attack, uh, uh, weapon attack plus 3, and HP MP 1000. <laughs> Million maple points, everybody. Holy shit. And uh, there is a second mission over there. So this is the first mission. First 100 players that cleared it. Right, it starts from 7 p.m. You cannot enter the extreme mode until 7 p.m. of the patch day. And Kim Jong Soo himself will be watching the streams and giving people uh, players buff. Right, as I mentioned. And for the second uh, mission over there, uh, let me show you guys second mission. Ah, there we go. The second mission, 3,000 players will be in luck. Right, it's a random one. We will get an acrylic stand over here for the new boss Su over here. 3,000 players, uh, I think the first 3,000 players or something, there we go, uh, let me read about that. Uh, ah, there we go, during the event period, we will draw 3,000 players who defeated hard, su or higher difficulty, basically hard or extreme, will be able to get a critic stand, alright, there will be only one winner. <laughs> <laughs> One winner acrylic stand over there, right? That's the acrylic stand. This is how it looks like. It's actually pretty lit. There's like a left and right over there. Yeah, this is just the... Uh, yeah. I think this one was the testing one and this one was the uh, official one, if I'm not mistaken. I think Neo mentioned it. Yeah, okay. So, that is for the new boss. Alright, suit everybody. Alright, insane boss, insane mechanics, but they are all predictable over here and someone already cleared it <laughs> extreme mode over here everybody all right insane is a bishop 292 over there everybody all right and all the way until the end over here yeah toyanim over here actually cleared the boss let me uh, bring all the way until the end oh 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 there we go wow Insane man, a bishop cleared it. Wow. wow. I mean a lot of people gotta clear it because it's in the in the tier of solo over, over here. Alright? This is in test server everybody. <laughs> it's insane. Okay, and those of you guys who are wondering how much does it cost for the crystal? Extreme. 380 mil. Harder mode. 112. It's the same. Okay? And we got normal mode, 31 mil. Okay, it's the same over here. Everything is the same. Okay. Okay, now that is for Su, everybody. Oh, damn, they, they go all out for that shit, man. Damn. Now, let's take a look at the quality of life changes over here, everybody. What are the quality of life changes? The first quality of life changes over here. Let's take a look. The skill improvements. Alright, for ring activation, you can actually check your ring activation right now. Alright, in, in the game, which is in your keybind over there. So, I have my continuous ring over here. Last time, you cannot actually put your continuous ring here. So, now you can actually put your continuous ring over there to actually show the keybind. Whoa, what the hell? Wait, the GM is here. Huh? Oh no, it's not GM. My bad. My, my hell is high as hell, my guy. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? I'm gonna play Maple Sea or some shit. Anyways, okay. Moving on. <laughs> I got all my buffs over there. I'm like, wait, what? Is GM here or some shit? Like, nah, it ain't not, not GM over there, my guy. Okay, so. You go in. I'm gonna show in Sue over here. And yeah, you can see this. 
as a cooldown over there, it shows. Yeah, last time it doesn't show, now it actually shows over there, which is pretty damn good, okay? So yeah, that is basically it for the ring over here, which is a good change. You can actually know when is it gonna basically uh, cool down. All right, now, next stuff. Mm, this is the best part, everybody. Best part, item improvements. Uh, this is in test server, ignore that. Expiry items of the limited time items over here that acquire from bosses. So, if you basically get all the flames, you know, get all this from bosses, they expire at midnight right now. Basically, they stack all together, group all together. You get it on that day, it doesn't matter what time you get it, it stacks all together on that day and it expires at midnight. Okay, it stacks all of them over here as you can see. All the metals, everything over here expires at midnight. Okay, it's a set period of time. And the number of the limited items can be acquired on the boss is actually stacked up to 9,999 9, right now. Good shit. It doesn't hog up your inventory anymore over here. Right? It's a very, very, very good change over here. Alright? Now, the next one. Ah, using arcane symbol or authentic symbol voucher, you can immediately strengthen it, right? Enhance it, or you can basically choose to select it over here. So what does that mean is that, let's just say I have an authentic symbol over here, right? So I have a choice of either I want to directly strengthen uh, or enhance it directly, I can enhance over here. Okay, so I just say I want to enhance 200 of them directly without going into my inventory. I can do that. Just click in this and it enhance immediately. And if as you say, I want to go into my inventory, right? I have 39 slots only. So I can just put in 39 slots over here. It goes back into my inventory. Yeah. Technology. Finally. God damn. And also, owner medals, right? Regardless of what owner medals, you can finally use all of them, man. God damn. This is like, oh, you don't have to click on everyone one by one. No, just use all of them, man. Ah, oh, my man, this is like best shit ever, right? So yeah, works for arcane, works for authentic symbols over there. All right, and also there is also uh, damage skin, right? Damage skin slot has been expanded to 96 slots over there, all right? Okay, that's another one. And also damage skin. Uh, okay, damage skin over here will actually shows you whether you have already equipped the damage skin or you have the damage skin or not, or you do not have the damage skin. That's a bottom tag over there, as you can see, right? You already have it or you not have it over there. And also monster collection over there. Let me screen the monster collection over here. Monster collection can get up to five star. Alright, 5 star monster collection over here at 1% chance over here on this egg over here, right? That's a 4 star and 5 star over here, you get 3% 1% you can see over here. Absolutely amazing. And also, um, dialogue display of some consumer items uh, can be modified, you can close it with the exceed. So basically what it meant is that, when you open it up on this one, right, you can actually exceed to close it over there. Yeah, just exceed. Yeah. Good shit, man. Good shit. Alright, so that's all the good shit over here. Are you ready for the events, everybody? Events are... I don't know how they're gonna run the events in overseas servers. Uh, due to the fact that... Let me get into the in-game. I gotta show you the BGM of the events in-game over here. Oh, wait. What? Okay. Now. There are a lot of events over here. We got a Spiderman World Cup over here, everybody. Wow, this is the 21st anniversary event, everybody. All right, so it is a collaborative event between Nixon 30th anniversary and as well as Maple Story 21st anniversary, everybody. You can see that there are some NPCs over here that you've never seen before because this is actually the Kingdom of the Wind NPC and this is FIFA. All right, and also cart rider up here as well. Um, where is the cart rider one? Yeah, cart rider up here as well as some of them are, yeah, collab. Okay, you can see it's very cute. Now, how does the event work? Is that this is the very nice over here? Okay, you get it. All this rewards over. Here. Yes, there are still airport cubes or white airport cubes over here, everybody. And this is a transcendent 
potion over here 270 potion over here, the brand new one okay and uh this is the coin shop the coin shop have a lot of stuff over here everybody all right you got three uh event ring over here and you got three legendary event rings over here uh scroll and also four unique potential scroll can use on any items over 100 percent. and this is a brand new one a hat right it's a premium uh Give me a heart over here. Let me show you guys the how it looks like. This is how it looks like. Nine attack and three all stats over here. It's karma over here. Um, there's a magic attack as well. So do take note. This is the brand new one. Uh, which you can actually get. You get ten of them. And also you can get all the rest of the other rewards over here. And of course, <laughs> uh, symbols five hundred of them. Note stone four hundred of them. Exp. Uh, stone or note stone. 30 of them, all the medals, everything over here. 100 boy potion, yes, it starts from 130 right now, you did not read it wrongly. And also, we got a mix group potion, we two of them, all right? So this is all the items over here, there's a boss shop as well, right? And this is basically the collaborative event over here. These are all the events for the 30th anniversary for Nixon. So I don't know how this is gonna go for overseas servers because this is different. This is like FIFA. This is uh, Kingdoms of the Wind, Kart Rider, and I forgot what is this game again. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, there's a lot of things over here. And there's a lot of this over here. And you got Mabu no Gear as well, right? And this is Kingdoms of the Wind. It's finally back again. Uh, and also Kart Rider. Kingdoms of the Wind is actually a very, very old game that won a uh, Guinness World Record. If you go to Nixon Computer Museum, you will see that. And um, yeah, you got Damage Skin over here and all that. So a lot of things over here right so these are collaborative now more collaborative temp stats the temp stats is also collaborative you can see that this is marble no gear here you can see some maple story uh silhouette over here this is the cart rider one right this is insane like huh <laughs> how they gonna localize this to overseas man like oh, okay um there are more events over here okay there's uh so-called mini haste uh you got vip booster over here got 40 of them more boing potion symbols and also chorus over here all right all this is insane there's a boss shop as well that is a lot of things going on over here man this is just mm, this is crazy and there's some yeah, mini games over here that you can actually play the map is beautiful yeah and i'm gonna go through the map over here and you can see yeah, the map is actually super as beautiful. Damn. Alright, so yeah, that's basically it. So all the main rewards that you're gonna get is all over here. The coin shop is more of a... Not really not so important, but less important rewards. But the rest is all here. That's the ideal they want to uh, push this over here, everybody. Alright, so... That's the 21st anniversary event, and of course, Su Remaster over here. There we go, normal, hard, and extreme mode over here. We got all the items over here as well. Uh, good luck challenging it. It's gonna be a blast. It is really a fun boss, to be honest. I'm like, hmm, good shit, man. Alright, so I hope I didn't miss anything. I hope I hope I didn't miss anything over here. Alright. Uh yep, that's basically it for uh this video. Hope you guys get some insights on what is coming in the after 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 dream update everybody. Hell yeah, we got a boss remaster over here. This is some insane shit going on. They have a full fledged event for that. 21st anniversary, which will be uh, you guys 20th anniversary. I don't know how they're gonna localize it, but mm, we will know soon. <laughs> insane shit going on, everybody. Alright, so that's basically it. I hope you guys get some insights over here. Alright. As always, leave a thumbs subscribe and stay awesome, everybody. Stay safe and bye-bye.